This is the feud that cost Abby her new show. Why is JoJo hanging out with James Charles instead of the ALDC? Which OG dancer called Abby the biggest bully in America? Hey reality reporters, Christy here, bringing you another very thorough investigation, this time into the cast of Dance Moms. It's been a long time since season eight wrapped and I have been dying to know, have the ALDC stuck together? Are they still cool with Abby? What about the OGs? Who's friends? Who's rivals? Who's frenemies? I have to know. We need a 2020 update and I did a deep dive into every social media post, comment, interview, news results, everything I could find to bring you guys the info on who's still cool and who's not so good of friends anymore. So here is all the dish on the cast of Dance Moms. Before we get to all the juicy stuff, let's talk about the biggest Dance Moms battle ever, Abby Lee Miller versus Cancer. The dance teacher was spotted in Bev Hills last week, looking healthy and grabbing some lunch. She's also back to work. Check out this Instagram post where Abby says she's teaching and filming, that's a big hint, in Los Angeles on August 24th. But the fact that Abby is back to filming isn't the biggest news here. Check out this pic from her recent physical therapy session. Abby has ditched the wheels, she's walking, and she is ready to take on the world once again. But let's not overlook that little tidbit that Abby says she's back to filming because it conveniently brings us to the most explosive Dance Moms feud of the year. With quarantine in full effect in April, Lifetime announced a brand new show, Abby's Virtual Dance Off. They even invited dancers to start sending in submissions to be contestants on the show. Abby's Virtual Dance Off was set to premiere in the summer with a whopping 12 episodes to follow. Now, that's a big order, a lot of episodes, which means a big, fat paycheck, but everything went south for Abby when she posted on Blackout Tuesday. Adriana Smith, Cameron's mom, who we saw on the latest season eight, responded to Abby's post, saying it was the perfect day to address her experience with Abby. Adrian went on describing a comment in which she claims Abby insulted her education and where she grew up. Adriana also claims she overheard Abby say her daughter was only on the show for diversity. Fellow dance mom Camille backed up Adriana's account of how her daughter was treated, and Abby wasted no time addressing the allegations and apologized to Adriana and Cameron directly, saying she realizes racism doesn't just come from hate, but ignorance as well. She took responsibility and promised to do better, hoping to one day earn forgiveness. Well, that sounds pretty heartfelt, but Adriana said she did not accept Abby's apology and Abby's virtual dance-off, which had already started filming, was canceled. Not only that, but reportedly Abby will also not be asked back if there's a season nine of Dance Moms. Through that and all the allegations Abby has faced, Jojo Siwa has stood by her side. Jojo even said in an interview in May that Abby is the cast member she talks to the most. As for her fellow ALDC members, Jojo told ET in June that the other cast members make her really, really upset. What for? Not thanking their former teacher. Jojo calls Abby a really good person and asserts that Maddie, Kenzie, and the rest of the team wouldn't even be where they are without her. We can't argue with that. Jojo is also going up against Brooke, who starred on seasons one through four of the show before Jojo even made her debut. So what could these two be beefing about? So Brooke is going through her Facebook, and as it does, Facebook suggests that she add as a friend her former teacher, Abby Lee Miller. Well, Brooke couldn't help herself. She posted this TikTok video of the suggestion and made this face. Jojo wasn't having it. She called Brooke out in an uncharacteristically savage way. You go, girl. She commented that it's cool for Brooke not to add Abby, but it's another for her to post this diss video. Is Jojo being Joelle when she's sassy like that? I don't know, but I love it. All that went down over the summer, over the last few months, but now it seems that Jojo has dropped a major hint that she's done defending Abby. Check out this TikTok video from just three weeks ago. It's Jojo getting real about her time on the show. Think you can hurt my feelings? I was on Dance Moms, she writes. Now these videos where people get real about something they've been through set to the song Bulletproof are a thing on TikTok. And it didn't take long for the OGs to jump on the bandwagon. 
Chloe, Kenzie, and Nia posted similar videos, with Nia even calling Abby the biggest bully in America in her caption. Chloe added that her four years with Abby were so traumatizing that she doesn't actually remember it. But let's back up the accusation wagon, okay? Do you guys think that JoJo was talking about Abby or about the toxic trolls who pretend to be fans but then harass her online? I think the answer is pretty obvious. Either way, the OG cast members took this as an opportunity to slam Abby. I'm dying to know what you guys think about that. Are they justified in doing so or should they just move on? Leave a comment below and tell me what you think. Really, it's not surprising that the OGs would criticize Abby. It's nothing they haven't been saying for years, and this group sticks together. They are always hanging out and supporting each other's many endeavors, but are they back working together too? According to Melissa, Kenzie and Nia were just having fun on set together. Ooh, what are they filming? I'm gonna keep you posted on that. The season one moms still have each other's backs too. Melissa, Jill, Kelly, and Holly are launching a podcast together called Because Mom Said So. It drops in the fall. The group promises to bring you stories, advice, fun, and laughs. Ha <laughs> ha, looking forward to that. And you can bet they will also be dishing on their time as dance moms. When this podcast drops, I wonder if Melissa is going to open up about her daughter's fight against being canceled. It was Maddie and Kenzie versus everyone when videos of them as children that were deemed racially insensitive surfaced a few weeks ago. Kenzie has also been accused of saying the N-word, something she denies, but the pop star did an issue an apology via IG Live. Maddie also apologized, writing that she's honestly ashamed and truly sorry for her actions. It doesn't look like this has affected Maddie or Kenzie's careers at all. I repeat, the Zigglers have not been canceled. Ooh, we are finally down to it. The last feud fight frenemies. We're talking about the two biggest stars that Abby has ever made. What is her relationship like now with Maddie and Kenzie? The ALDC matriarch made her feelings very clear in these leaked DMs from July. This is Abby shading Kenzie hard for competing on Dancing with the Stars Juniors. Her former dance teacher thinks Kenzie should have been one of the pros because, hello, she is a pro, right? It's kind of a backhanded compliment, Abby. And little M just couldn't let it slide. Kenzie commented on a gossip account saying that Abby was talking about her to stay relevant. Abby couldn't really be clout chasing because these were private messages, so that blows your theory a little bit. Maybe Kenzie's clapback is why Abby follows her big sis on IG and not her. It should be noted that neither one of them follow Abby. Surprise, surprise. Ooh, that was a lot, like some season four level drama, right? If you want to blast back to the past, I have some really great old videos of the OGs when they were babies, Abby on the red carpet, and please check out my interview with the Abby Lee Miller dancer you've never seen on the show. That is my most viral video to this day. Tons of hits because it is juicy stuff, so check that out. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you can be first. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it and I will see you soon. Take care.